Hi friends, this is Dr. P.V. Keshav Gurnath Kumar from Max Cure Hospital, Secretariat, Hyderabad. Today's our topic would be regarding bronchial asthma. Well, bronchial asthma is a very commonly term used and you can really know it, a uh, lot of studies have been there. Uh, coming to a basic point of it, it is a non-communicable disease. Uh, it runs uh, family-wise, it is known as allergic disease to everyone only commonly. Coming to the most important point, who are more uh, known to be a bronchial Asthma. The bronchial asthma can be from childhood reasons to any part of the adults. So adults very uh, rarely be after 45 years. But uh, children are mostly diagnosed with bronchial asthma, and they are for this reasons they are because of the various reasons of allergic reasons. Coming to the point of childhood bronchial asthma, they have the symptoms of wheezing and cold, and is a very common thing which we have come across. They are treated with different type of uh, nebulizations, inhalations, but uh, who have parents who has a history of bronchial uh, allergy or any other bronchial asthma, they are prone to have bronchial asthma. Coming to the risk factors like allergens uh, surrounding our houses, uh, like pets, any pollens, or allergic to foods, indoor pollutions, uh, maybe passive smoking can, could also cause these asthma conditions. What are the signs and symptoms? Most of the signs and symptoms are wheezing point. Chest might have wheezing, sudden breathlessness, unable to concentrate in children's point of view, their um, and unable to play in children's. Whereas um, adults coming to adults, they are feeling breathlessness, hearing wheezing sounds from the chest. These are most commonly treated symptoms we hear. Diagnostic part uh, comes with the uh, majorly with the chest X-rays and uh, pulmonary function test. Uh, pulmonary function test will uh, with bronchodilator is most important in the world. The reversibility of the bronchodilator will indicate this uh, suggests more bronchial asthma. Coming about the treatment part, we have two types of treatment. Uh, basically, with inhalers, which with which are said to be relievers and preventers. See, uh, most of the people think the inhalers are addictive but inhalers are the best part of treatment uh, relievers are used to intensively when you have a symptoms at that point of view you use relievers whereas preventers are continuously being used to prevent uh, further exacerbations uh, to prevent symptoms and future exacerbations and future uh, and breathlessness which can help him play a re regular day-to-day uh, -day lives these are other treatments like uh, you have a lot of non other xanthin groups and these are but uh, tablets which definitely are mostly they don't help much the inhaler parts are to be said to be the most important time preventive measures would be of avoiding uh, any allergies uh, any allergies which have been causing you uh, like uh, food or uh, pets and any pollens like nearby smoking pollutions you have to be very careful which can aggravate your symptoms allergy part to know detailly about allergies, we have a specific skin, uh, we have blood allergy tests and or we have skin prick tests for various uh, allergens like uh, dust, for uh, vegetables, drugs and these all things. We can do uh, other uh, to know what type of we are allergens to allergies. Normally inhalers are the mainstream treatment for bronchial asthma. The most important thing to be known about ast uh, inhalers to be used, how to use the inhalers and way to use different drugs. Uh, most problem is the adhesion to the drugs is the most important thing. The, uh, the way of the using inhalers, there are different type of inhalers like meter dose inhalers, dry powder inhalers. Whereas uh, meter dose inhalers means they are like sprays which are to be taken through mouth. Dry powder inhalers are like uh, using a rotor inhalers. It is a powder which we have inhaled uh, through mouth. Second thing would be the period of taking inhalers. Uh, there are two types of inhalers which I have already explained to you about the preventer and reliever. Relievers are been to be used at the point of whenever the you have an attack or something. So whereas preventer should be used for a longer period to prevent future attacks and breathlessness and this should be taken for a period of 
टू टू थ्री मंथ्स व्हिच हैज पर द डॉक्टर हैज प्रिस्क्राइब्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग इज आस्थमा इज सेड दैट इट इज अ इज अ क्रॉनिक डिजीज बट इट कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड एंड कैन बी डील विद नॉर्मल मेडिकेशंस विद लीडिंग अ नॉर्मल लाइफ विद ऑल इवन टू ईट आइसक्रीम आल्सो